right there. That's where we're going. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Knox stealing the show again. How are you all? Are you good? What's who's your friend's name? Unicorn. Okay. Or mini rainbow? I like that. It's a mini rainbow unicorn. I love that. How are you all doing? Some of you I haven't seen for a few weeks. It's so lovely to see you. So we are talking about what's our what's the name of our faith? What's the name of our faith? Awesome. <laughs> ah, it is awesome. It starts with two U's. What's the full word? Long word. UUCP is the, the initials of the congregation. That is an awesome start. Uni Corn. Unicorn. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's another one. Uni, not versity. Uni 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 University. We've got a hand. Unitarian Universalist. Yay for the win. So we are talking about Unitarian Universalism today, and we're going to be diving deeper into what we believe. Now, some of you got little prompts. There are some things that some people say about Unitarian Universalism. Who, who has one? Jessica, would you be willing to say one? There's no creed, so it doesn't matter what you believe. Hmm. Oh, that's one way to think about Unitarian Universalism. Hmm. What does Unitarian Universalism mean to you all? You've got one? Is this a, a prompt? I know this is not what you... Good. You can believe whatever you want. Wow. Whatever. Anything, huh? Anything that you want. Whatever. Hmm. That's an interesting thing to think about theologically. Whatever you want. Robert, what do you, what do you, what do you think? Or what do you read? Life is a banquet, and most poor suckers are starving to death. Okay. Or. Oops, went off script. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a buffet of religion. You can pick what you want. Hmm. A buffet. A buffet. That's, that's an, interesting, it's an interesting metaphor. Just pick a little bit of Kung Pao chicken, a little bit of broccoli, a little bit of whatever you want. What do you think? What, what, what is it that someone wrote down that you think that it might be? It's not a real religion. It's not. It's not a real religion. Who would say that? Hmm. Wonder if there's any more of what maybe some people think. It's a social club for people who still want to go to church on Sunday. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know about any of those. Do any of you, is that what you think Unitarian Universalism is? It's a religion. It is a religion. And what is it that we believe? That's the deep question. That's the big one. Because we don't have any one statement, creed, or statement of belief. So, I actually, I actually wrote those statements. Spoiler, <laughs> spoiler alert. And I think that they can be really challenging. I, they are all saying that ours is not a faith that grounds us or informs us of how we live in the world or that guides us. That you, it's just this topical thing that you pick out like you pick out your toppings on a taco bar, right? And I don't think it's that for me. For me, it guides me every single day in what I believe. So, how many of you have heard of six-word stories? Have any of you heard those? Six-word stories are telling a whole story or a statement, but you can only use six words. So, Brigida did this as a experience, and you came up with one, right? What was one you did? My six-word story of our faith is love weaves through all you use do. Mm. 
Love weaves through all you use do. That's really good. Does it sound complicated? Yeah? So there's others. I, I consulted, I came up with a few and I consulted chat GPT for a few more. <laughs> and then I amended them to make my own. That's very you, you. I looked at something as a resource and then I made it my own. Many beliefs, one community, endless love. There's one. Harmony in diversity, faith without dogma. Oh, oh, you like that. Okay. Quest for truth bound by love. So here's what I'm going to invite you to do. You've already got sheets saying, asking you to write down uh, thoughts for the framework project. It's also a piece of paper. I want to challenge you. You got about 10 minutes or so until the next part of the service. I want to see if you can come up with your own six word story of what Unitarian Universalism could be. Now, it doesn't have to be the ultimate answer. It just can be a story of what Unitarian, can, Unitarian, Unitarian Universalism can be. And we're going to weave it into our meditation today. So you've got about 10 minutes for that. It's okay to pull out your phone. It's okay to, uh, and folks online can write it into the chat if you want. So does anyone have something off the top? Anyone can think of one? You've already got one, Duke? I stole this from Hillel. Okay. Be kind. Everything else is commentary. Oh, that's so good. That's so beautiful. I love that. And I could see how that could guide your being in the world. Yeah, that's lovely. Good. Anyone else have an idea of six words? Okay. Oh, you do. Paisley, you want to come up? You'll have opportunity more. I'm just get, we're just getting a couple of ideas. Okay. on the mission statement that we now have. And someone came up with half the religion, twice the love. Oh, half the religion, twice the love. Thank you very much. Well, you all think about it. We'll all be coming up with our six word stories. Thank you for exploring what Unitarian Universalism isn't and what it can be. We appreciate you being here. Arson will play you out back to wherever you're going today.